Hey, what's up everyone? Today I wanted to present you the new Toyota Yaris Hybrid that I was able to make a test drive. Unfortunately, I was not able to, um, to film the test drive this time. Um, nonetheless, I wanted to, um, to show you at least how the body looks like, how the interior looks like and what are all the new stuff that appeared. Um, you know, with this new vehicle. And it's just great. There are a lot of surprises that I would like to, well, at least to show you um, in this new car. So as usual, you know, I'm, we are just going to check the interior of the car in terms of trunk space. Let's start with the trunk space. Well, as you can see, um, as usual for a Yaris, the trunk space is not that uh, big but it is quite deep as you can see here also you can fully put the back seats down that i'm gonna do it now just to show you what is the overall you know space that you that you can have with this car it's very easy to take them down and as you can see here you have all the space that you need to put some big stuff unfortunately you cannot have a completely flat surface but well you know you gotta deal with this it. it's not such a big problem it's still a small car though so let's put everything back together and we are going to check how the um how is the back seat how are the back seats so just before hopping in the car so what kind of materials do we have so we have here some plastic we have some plastic with some kind of you no know, tissue on it and some hard plastic again and here we have we have the full leather seats that are you know some kind of a uh, white and we have beneath as usual the space for the battery so i'm going to sit down here and see what is the overall space for someone in the back so the seats are for my height which is 182 centimeters you know around and well actually it's almost like the other car it seems a little bit you know the older generation uh, this one seems uh, less you know I, I have the impression that I have a little bit less space than in the other car and as usual I, as I just show you before you have the plastic here for the battery that takes some space you know you're losing some space for your feet but it's this is like the other generation and we have here as usual the roof which is you know this kind of tissue again um, in white uh, this time so now let's go see in the front what do we have So on the front we have the exact same thing, you know, for the materials used, the hard plastic, we have this little uh, line here, we have this tissue and we have this other, you know, plastic in like in silver, you know, the silver color and you have here some space to arrange your things. Here you have all the different controls that you have, you know, for the mirrors and for the, uh, for the windows. Now for the seats, I do love the seats, you know, in terms of design. They are quite nice, but they are also very comfortable. I really love the fact that here you are well seated and for your back here, this is the same. So the seats are, you know, quite good. I do like them. Now, this is the space so that you have for your passenger, which is also quite, you know, it's enough. It's not too much space, but if you need more space, you can just put the seat completely, um, you know, in the back and you have more space for your legs so this is like the other Yaris there's not much difference you can put your seat quite in the back so you have as usual something to put your bottle here you have the the air vents that uh, you have only two it seems oh uh, no sorry you have <laughs> I forgot you have four those are so discreet I always forget about them and you've got here you know how you can uh, control the um, the ventilation you know as usual on or off so there are a lot of new stuff in the score that i would like to to talk to you about and i hope that we not forget about them so so here we have in terms of materials we have you know this kind of this leather here 
we have some plastic up in the back and we have here some hard plastic too which you know it looks like this one here so this is not plastic or you know soft plastic or leather i don't know no soft plastic and it's uh it's the same you know um symbols here have a place to uh, you know to put your phones or you know other things here you also have a place to put your phone and charge your phone you have this little button here that will allow you to to turn on the charging of the phone which is great because you have the control over this and you will not put for example your uh, wallet and it will not have a problem you know with your cards uh, being demagnetized if you turn it on you know so usually it's always on on other cars and here you are you know um, protected against this because you have the control over over it being on and off you still have here this 12 volt socket if you want um, you have the standard you know thing here this did not change with the different colors depending on what you select you have this new thing that came to the Toyota Yaris, which is the drive mode, which allows you to have the normal mode and the eco mode as usual, but the power mode has also been implemented in this car, which was not the case for the older one. You have the ESP, the EV mode only, the auto hold mode, which is new, but it seems that this gets deactivated every time you restart the car. And you have the automatic parking handbrake, which is also great because it finally disappeared you know compared to the other version to the other generation and here you have the cup holders and here you have finally a real armrest which is you know for both uh, you know people in the car and that you can also open it to put a little thing inside and you can also put it completely in the back i guess if you need to have more space because you have a big thing here so that's practical it's still nice to have this now, in terms of new things, so we still have the USB stuff like before. The I think we had a jack before also on the other 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 car. Maybe this has disappeared. I don't remember. And you can also have a low and high setting for the warm seat, the seat warmer, the seat heater, which is not the case on the other one because you you can only take it on and off. Here, in terms of, of new stuff, you only have that I can see. The new thing is the fast eco mode. I guess that it will also turn on the air conditioning, so you can have some cold air very fast. And probably, maybe it's a, maybe it's a switch button. Actually, it's maybe for fast or eco. I don't know. Actually, I did not um, I did not test it. Maybe we can see after. And here we have the new screen, the new very big screen that came like you know from the um, CHR. Um, Toyota so we will not really review this because it's you know standard with the other car and here you have the mirror with you know the um, the, fun the auto function when you have someone blinding you and here you have the you know the little lights but those are still old style you know lights it's not LEDs yet and here you have the um, oh my god every time I forget you know how we, how we call this in English, my God, so ashamed. Okay, so here we have the new one, which is also very comfortable. It's uh, full, uh, you know, leather, and it's you have a good grip. It's very comfortable to have it in the hand. And you have the airbag here, and you have all these new, but all these buttons, and also some new one that appeared in this generation. So first you have, and we will see also a lot of things after that so you have the possibility i did not tested this one actually to limit the car speed and you have the dynamic um, cruise control here which is able to detect the car in front of you and accelerate or brake when necessary and here you can adjust the distance that you would like to have with the car in front of you and here you can of course adjust the speed you can cancel and you can switch audio mode and change tracks i guess this is not new um, then you can answer a call or you know decline or answer and you know um, hang, hang off you can go back you can here uh, you know navigate in the menus here that i will show you after you can have the volumes and the voice commands here you have the uh, you have the heated you know thing 
you have the automatic head, big headlights that can get on and you have here to adjust the you know the level of the lights in front in the front and here you have the automatic uh, light setting as usual and you have the automatic up oh, sorry the automatic wiper uh, on this side so now i guess let's um, show you the good stuff let's turn on the car so this is how it appears it's so great man i love this car so now what is the new stuff that appear first of all you have this you know um the blind spot uh, warning uh, that appeared in this car and you have also the um head up display that appeared and as you can see here you have the line detection you also have the you know if you have a car in front of you while you are having the dynamic cruise control the car we uh, a car will appear in the front you have the gear you have the um, the rpms you have the uh, speed you are on you know it's parking uh, uh, d uh, b etc and you have the uh, kilometers per hour and you have the also the how do you call this you know the traffic um the traffic signals i, f I forgot the the word now what do we have here so we have these the usual as is a hybrid you have the charge mode you have you know when you are braking you have the uh, eco mode up here and you have the power mode when you go you know too far with the pedal when you're asking you know a lot of power you have the um, the gear here that you have you have some menus that i will show you and you have on this side of course the gasoline tank and you have the um uh, the cooling liquid uh, temperature it's only a cooling liquid it's not the oil temperature as this does not exist on toyota you know yaris's so now we are going to change into inside you know those menus from uh, you know from here so we'll use you know those buttons here to show you all that so let's let me show you the first menu here so you can see the total average i drove like maybe 20 kilometers or 17 um, and I also, you know, asked a lot about the car and I had air conditioning on and I had a 4.7 per hundred kilometer, liter per hundred kilometer. And you can have, after this, go to the right and you have a eco zone that appears and you know how you, you know, if you drove in an economic way or not. Um, and this is for this part. And you have, of course, here, the fact that you have activated the lane assist the, you have the lanes here and of course the um, the traffic signs um, on the right side now let's go here so you have another view it's like the other car the other generation where you can see here the lines i think that it will also appear the car in front of you and um, the distance that you would like to have with the car you will have some i think some blue lights here uh, along the road and when you go over the road over the line you will have also a warning signal so this i'm going to show you also here uh, where is it it's here if you click here you can have you know the steering assist active active with lane centering uh, centering active centering centering active and uh, well it's, uh, actually it's just those two mode so it will allow the car to you know get back on the road if you are going over a line automatically which is great so this is new the alerting was already in the older generation but the fact that it can you know control the steering wheel huh, now i have the, the world the, the word <laughs> the steering wheel this is new on this car and what do we have else we have here the little uh, gps i think it should give you you know the directions but not a full map when you are in this you know mode uh, here you have the audio you have the tire pressure monitoring you know with the pressure for each tire which is really great and the older generation was only you know it was um, overall it was not you know precise like this which is uh, a new stuff that came you have the distance and the total time you have the little animation as usual when you are you know driving with the battery charging the battery driving with the motor etc and that's it here you can you know adjust the brightness of the screen so i have to press ok on a long time and you can adjust the brightness the brightness you know of the screen uh 
then you can also have the uh, configure the lane assist you can be centered if you want you have the alert the sensitivity if you want so the higher the sensitivity the uh, you know the uh, how do, the uh, it will you know bring you back to the lane faster than you know uh, it will not take much time to bring you back in the center of the lane you no know, the sensitivity i don't remember how to explain this correctly sorry guys and then you have the of course the uh, pre-collision system you have the uh, you know for the blind spot you have the uh, parking assist uh, the rct i don't remember what it is now i have a doubt you have the rear radar you have the h the head-up display the traffic sign recognition and this i don't remember what it is exactly this one um i don't i don't know this one um, and you can have some vehicle settings, okay, so you can uh, uh, the rear seat reminder for the seat belt uh, You can reset the uh, how, how you know the air pressure and the oil maintenance You can also reset here and you can uh, for the display here You can just adjust the language the units and have the EV indicator here on or off and here you can have all the messages, you know, if you have some problems uh, with the car. Now, for the... Um, you also have... So I need to show you this because actually I, um, I forgot in the French ver version of this video. Uh, so you have the rear, uh, you know, camera like in the other car. But there is something that I need to show you that is new. So I just, just don't want to bump, you know. Okay. And this is new and this is great. You finally have a radar that, you know, have a visual radar that is able to, you know, to make a difference if it's in the back or on the, you know, on the side and also in the front. So this is great. I love this. This was something really missing. The noise is comfortable. Um, it's working well. So that's a, a nice addition. And here you have, oh, you have the fast and eco. So what is this actually? Eco, fast and normal. Okay. Oh, this is fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. And what is the last thing I wanted to show you? I, I'm sure I forgot about something. Um, also, no, so you have the rear camera, you have this new thing that appeared, which is just great you have the gbl sound system which is definitely an option this is not standard and here you have the screen uh, just wait the screen here which is very you know reactive it's better than the other generation and you have you know some different menus application everything um i don't ex exactly remember how all this works but as you can see the only important thing here to show you is that it's you know it's very fast so this is my little review for this car maybe one day i will able to you know to to make a test drive with you guys by filming it but it is just great i love this car it has nothing to do with the older older generation it's more comfortable the so you always have the uh, cvt you know transmission like before but it's also way more comfortable they have improved the insonorization you know the the you know you don't have too much noise going inside the cabin of the car uh, from the cvt from outside also uh, so they have made a lot of work to make this car more comfortable in terms of suspension the um you know when you have small bumps it's a little bit stiff but not too much and when you have a lot of amplitude the suspensions are, are, are comfortable also you can drive this car like a little sport um, you know a little sports car um, the the engine and the transmission is more reactive and fast than before which is great you don't have you know too much movement when you drive in a sporty manner so this is also very comfortable and you don't hear the engine too much as long as you stay here you will um, hear more when you enter the power zone but you will have some kind of a you know a little sporty noise it will not be a noise you know like a scooter for example it will be more like a little sports car so this is really nice i really love what they have made with this car it's 
uh, quite efficient in terms of consumption for the, what, I have, uh, what I drove. It's also very comfortable with the seats, with the noise from the engine, from the CVT and from the outside. Uh, the suspensions are great and I think that's it. Well, I hope you would find this, in this video informative for you and see you next time for another test drive. Bye-bye.